English opening, Carl's Bremen, reverse dragon variation, 4.CXD5 NXD5 5.BG2 NB6. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. In the English opening, White plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. e5 controls the d4 and f4 squares, and allows the queen and dark squared bishop to develop. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto on g2, where it will be positioned on the long diagonal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Backs off. This offers an equal trade of pieces. NB6 retreats the attack knight to a square where it controls the d5 and c4 squares. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is the final book action. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This misses a chance to threaten a queen and gain a tempo. It is incorrect. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. Recaptures. That's good. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. This overlooks a better way to move a queen to safety. This allows the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is incorrect. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. This misses a chance to trample a knight. It is incorrect. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This wins time by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This attacks a queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This immobilizes the opponent's knight by pinning it to the king. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only move that works. It is best. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a knight and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. This threatens to win a knight. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to capture a bishop that was threatening to win material. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is a mistake. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This is how you attract a knight. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. That knight was a free one. 
it is ideal. By assaulting the opposing queen, this activates a piece while also buying time. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. This buys time by putting a knight in danger and getting it to flee. That's good. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This threatens to reveal a check. It is a mistake. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This is the only good move. This threatens to win a rook. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a queen. It is a great move. This is an equal trade. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a rook. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. The opposing bishop gets kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is ideal. When a rook retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. Although the score was nearly equal, black now holds the upper hand. It is incorrect. By doing this, the chance to double rooks on a single file is missed. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. By doing this, the chance to double rooks on a single file is lost. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. By posing a threat to a knight and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. This shields the knight who was attacked. It is quite good. This buys time by putting a knight in danger and getting it to flee. It is quite good. The knight is thus brought to safety. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is good. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players.